Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 15.4. I believe this to be the best update to iOS 15. It is really, really good. And the last beta that was released like a couple days ago makes it even better. Now in this video, we're gonna talk all about this update, why I believe this is the best update. There's a change that you will really, really love. Also, we're gonna talk about the release date, some new features, and also we're gonna talk about iOS 16. We have some really, really important news regarding iOS 16. So let's just first start off with iOS 15.4, which was released on beta 4 like a couple of days ago. And I believe this to be the last beta of iOS 15.4 before it goes to the RC version and then of course gets released to the public. Now this update has a build number that ends with an A. That means that this is the last update to iOS 15 betas before it goes to RC version. Now, of course, Apple might release another beta ending with A as well with, with a different build number, but that probably might be just to fix something. It won't contain any new features at all. So this is the last beta that you will see on iOS 15.4, of course, expecting an RC version next week. And then of course, the final release, we're gonna talk about more of that and later on this video, we have some details and some reports regarding that as well. Now, first of all, let's just take a look at some of the new features that Apple has brought to iOS 15.4. With beta 4, we have some really good ones. First of all, going to settings, you will find here a new option under Siri and search. If you go here, go to Siri voices, now you will find voice five. If you choose American, you will have a new voice for Siri right here and you can select it and use it from here. Now going right here to air tags, you will see this pop up when you're trying to actually pair an air tag with your iPhone. You can see this pop up. This is new. You will get this anytime you're trying to set up an, an air tag. It basically lets you know that using this item to track people without their consent is a crime in many regions around the world. And of course, it also shows you that these items have been designed to be detected by the victims and of course, enable law enforcement to request items identifying information about the owner. Now this is like an just like a warning that Apple will show you before you repair an air tag of course on their their hope to fight people like trying to tag of course tag and just go ahead and just like track people with air tags which is of course not good at all. They are not designed to do that and you shouldn't do that. Now another thing under notifications if you go to find my you won't have now the ability to actually disable safety alerts notifications those are for air tags as well of course you cannot disable those they will be shown automatically going to the watch app if you have an apple watch you will have of course the app right here go there go to mail and what you will find here is the ability to now always load content directly this allows the content to be loaded directly on your Apple Watch. Now right there, what you see is mirror, mirror my iPhone and custom as well. Now this now also has hide IP address. So if you mirror your iPhone, you have hide my IP address enabled on your iPhone, it will also hide it from your Apple Watch because of course it will mirror the settings that you have on your iPhone. And we have a few changes as well from beta three that we haven't covered yet. So if you go to notifications and you go right here to scheduled summary, now you will see weekly average. Now that was daily average. It has been changed to weekly average with beta three. And I believe this to be much, much better than having just the daily average right there. So you will find this under the scheduled summary here on the notification settings. On the news app, if you go to the audio section and scroll all the way down, you will find now more to explore. Now, right here, we'll find all audio stories, sports, and recently played. So we'll have three sections here with glyphs and all that. This is a new section that has been added on beta three. And trying to update from beta three to beta four, I got this again. So this confirms that this feature is actually official with iOS 15.4. So now on, you will be able to actually update your device completely using seller or just try basically start updating with Wi-Fi, move on to seller, won't have any problems. A lot of people thought that this was just like a test or a bug or something like that. I believe this to be official now, even, even that Apple didn't actually announce this, but it shows up twice. And of course, since beta two, this has been here and it's really, really amazing and much, much needed feature for iOS 15. Now this update has been really, really good on bug fixes as well. 
one bug that has been around since like iOS 15 has been released is basically storage not loading. So you go to iPhone storage, this would take like minutes, sometimes it would, wouldn't even load at all. You can see right here just a few seconds and we have everything here. This is really, really good. It has been fixed on beta 3. On beta 4, it also looks really good. Also, a lot of people have been reporting that frame drops with iPhone 13 Pros has been fixed as well. And also, there was like a problem with reminders. So basically, iCloud, iCloud reminders not working and not syncing. That has been fixed as well with iOS 15.4 beta 4. Now, the main reason that I believe, as you can see also on the title, that this is really different from other iOS 15 versions. And I've seen on Reddit threads and reports from people also noticing this is that iOS 15.4 is actually really, really fast. Now, when you get your hands on this update and try to open apps, go out of the apps, animations, all that are really, really snappy. It's really fast and you will actually notice this while using your iPhone on daily basis. I don't know why, what Apple did. They maybe made the animations fast or something like that, but this update is just great. The speed of this update, you can see opening the calendar app right there, just goes right into the app. It is really, really good. I believe you will actually love this update. Of course, all the features, the bug fixes, but also the speed is really great. Now, when talking about speed, of course, we have here Geekbench reports as well. Going to the CPU reports right here, here we have the latest one from Beta 4. So we can see there an increase, a very, very small increase on the single core score from the last beta. So we have 1,592, we had 1,590 right here, but on the multi-core score, there is even a greater like increase there. So we have 4,227 while we had 4,149 right here on beta 3. So of course that shows the improvement of iOS 15.4 and what I believe to be the best update to iOS 15. Also talking about battery life, now you can expect a really good battery life with iOS 15.4. I'm not saying this will be the best battery life you ever got on your iPhone, but it's very comparable to iOS 15.3. If you have that version of iOS 15 on your device, you can expect to have about the same battery life on your device. I had this, of course, since beta one, and it has been really, really good. I never noticed any like huge drops on battery, like huge like battery drains or things like that. It is really, really stable when it comes to battery and performance as well. Now, at the beginning, I said that we have some really important news regarding the release of iOS 15.4, and we're going to talk about iOS 16 as well. So we have a report from Mark Grumman from Bloomberg, which is, of course, a very, very reliable source when it comes to Apple news. First of all, according to him, this will be the last big update of iOS 15 before Apple moves on to iOS 16. Even though it's still very, very early in the year, we're on February right now, you can expect, of course, Apple to release point updates. They might even release, of course, iOS 15.5, but that will most likely be just like iOS 15.3, just like fixes and all that, maybe like smaller features and changes, but don't expect to have another update on iOS 15 with these much features and of course these big features. I'm pretty sure Apple ha is done with iOS 15 right here. They just brought all the features that they showcased on WWDC 2021. The, of course, the universal control and now unlocking with the mask and all that. We have everything they promised here on iOS 15. And of course, this is the last big update. Now, according to Mark Grunberg, this will actually be released on the first half of the March. Now, I believe, of course, to have another beta, actually the RC version on next week, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. And then I believe this to be released to the public on March 8th after the event that Apple is holding, of course, where they will unveil the new iPhone SE 3. So that will be on March 8th, and I believe that will also be the date that Apple releases iOS 15.4 to the public. And for the last part, let's talk a bit about iOS 16, because we have news from the same report from Mark Grumman. Again, this is a very reliable source. When it comes to Apple news, Apple software, everything regarding Apple, this is the source to get the information from. Now, according to him, the release of iOS 16 
isn't facing any setbacks at all. Now, according to Mark Groomberg, iOS 16 hasn't hit any major setbacks so far with all the new major features that are expected to be previewed by Apple at WWDC 2022 iOS 16 is going really, really good. That of course leads us to hope that this update will have amazing new features because if it doesn't have any setbacks, they won't have to leave like features out of this update and of course leave them for later on or even for iOS 17. So this update should come of course on its first beta in June. As usual, Apple holds their event in June and I'm expecting this to be probably around right here june 6th they of course do it on a monday so it should be june 6th maybe the 13th but i believe it might be june 6th as well that should be one of the dates the 6th or the 13th when we will see the first beta of ios 16 hopefully having major major changes because ios actually really really needs a refresh so that's basically it for this video guys thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead leave a like on this one and subscribe for more i'll see you guys on the next one